Hi everyone, welcome back. Lastly, we finished about high level GUI modules and today, before we also finished about image processing modules, today we are gonna start two core functionality modules, which is very important one. And uh, let's start with the operations on arrays. And here I wanna start with the functions, the concatenation functions, which is the first one is horizontal and the other one is gonna be the vertical concatenation function. These are good to start to this module, I think. And uh, this is overloaded function. There are three kind of functions. Just they are different than each other with the parameters they are taking. And uh, basically these two functions is just concatenating the pictures. Concatenating the mat images. We are going to understand more clearly on the code part. But let's have a look at the uh, input parameters they are taking. First, for example, the first overloaded function is taking the input array vector of matrices and the number of matrices and output array. I think uh, you can directly use the sec, uh, third one for this functionality because you are just gonna give the vector input and the output is gonna be given to you. And the second one, if you just want to concatenate two pictures, two images, this is the uh, better one maybe. You are just giving the first, second and it's gonna give you the destination. And the vertical concatenation is totally same about the parameters with the horizontal one. Let's pass to the code part in here. Uh, I have a uh, I have an example in here, and for this, since we are gonna concatenate, I get one more images. The first one is Lena image, and the second one just a view image. Okay, so we are gonna use these two images. Uh, first of all, we need to know something uh, before starting. Maybe uh, the horizontal concatenation. You need to know about the uh, number of in here I think it's written yeah the matrices must have the same number of rows and the same depth so this is important otherwise you otherwise your program is gonna be crushed if you not give the same number of rows or different depth uh, type you are giving so your uh, program most probably will crash so this is important this is the number of rows should be same and in the vertical one of course the number of columns should be same Depth also should be same the the images which you want to concatenate okay and this is important because my images also if we check the they are both of them the width and height which is column number and row number totally different than each other okay so first of all let's start with the horizontal one I want to concatenate these two images as horizontal I'm calling horizontal concatenate function and uh, first of all since we have two pictures we can try to give the first image and the second image and the output. Uh, for the output image we need to maybe define an out function, out parameter and it's gonna give me this one but first of all let's see it will crash because their uh, number of rows are different you see here so okay first of all let's equalize the number of rows one of them to the other one uh, resize function which we have already learned the first of all the image two let's wanna change image two then cv size the first one is gonna be uh, uh, columns so I can give the same one but the second one I need to give the number of rows to the first image so they are gonna be same okay and let's see again yeah now since the number of rows is equal they are able to uh, concatenate okay you see how it's working the same functionality you can use with other overloaded function for that you need to create a vector array which is gonna be take the type of mat and this is array let's say and after that you need to uh, push the all of the images you want to concatenate you need to push to this array push back which is image and the second image also you need to push why I cannot? Okay. 
and uh, by this you can directly give okay this should be after the resizing operation after that all you need to do is just give the array and it's gonna give you the output this is also better to use this uh, overloaded one if you have more images to concatenate for example if you wanna see let's say image to one more lena image and let's copy that and push also now you will understand more clearly yeah now because if you have more than two images you cannot use the first overloaded function okay this is the concatenate one let's close this and uh, very similarly uh, the vertical concatenate is also just the uh, opposite definition I can say let's try to run it also uh, for that maybe we need to make the other one okay let's say this is error array 2 resize is since now I will resize the columns instead of the rows because their rows should be same also okay and um, now I can make um, vertically concatenate I think since there is nothing wrong let's push it and this is out let's see the result okay this is horizontal still i need to make it vertical okay now i'm vertically concatenating yeah like that uh, maybe we can uh, use both of the method in the same image what i mean is that uh for example, we have already concatenated this image right in out. And let's change the order. This will be the second concatenate, second horizontal concatenate. And here, out 2, array 2. Okay, this size can stay or remove it. And here we can push it just change the order and one more okay where is the horizontal one okay in here we can make horizontal concatenate array and out this is the first one then this is the second one now I want to make vertical concatenate with this out2 and out1 so you will understand after seeing I think this is gonna be the array 3 and let's directly try out1 and out2 their number of uh, rows maybe should be same I think so uh, okay is gonna be array 3 array 3 and one more out this is gonna be out 3 okay let's see the result okay something we are missing then okay out 3 we need to show yeah now what I have did in here first of all I'm concatenating the horizontal in the first one then same horizontally concatenate again the second one just the order is changed then these both matte images I'm just at the end making vertically concatenate so I'm getting at the end this output uh, most of the time these functions are very uh, useful for us uh, we are gonna use this also this module is very important to understand I actually I started with the simplest one I can say which is horizontal concatenate and the vertical one and these are most of the time we are needed and very important function and good to start i think for this module and we are starting actually and see you in the next videos